Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, like or dislike this video and activate notification bell. Okay guys, so I have not filmed for a month. So I feel like this video is gonna have loads of mmm, uh, uh, but yeah, whatever. I had the Red Bull before that. Oh, I'm gonna talk to you about the Red Bull thing. Because I feel like... Okay, look, I'm, I'm gonna run. There is a good perfume haul, a, de a really decent perfume haul, with some affordable, some niche, some everything. Trust me, and I have very, very good finds. And also, yeah, I'm, this, this haul is not bad at all. But also, what did I want to tell you? Okay, so guys, okay, first, maybe let's start by the most important thing. Uh, August, until a few days ago, but I'll come to this. I, I just have like, for already now it's a year, I just have a lot on my plate, guys. I, I, I don't, I'd rather just tell you that I don't feel great. Then uh, get comments like, oh my god, you lost your spark, nye, 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 nye. Okay, yes, no, I'm not feeling well. And if you see a difference of energy with my other videos, I totally understand, because I am not feeling well. <laughs> um, I don't even... This situation has been lasting for a year. I'm not going to go into details. Maybe I'll go into it when it's finished, because it's going to be finished in my favor, and I'm sure about it, 100%. But uh, there is still months to go, so... Uh, for now, I have to keep quiet anyway. So yeah, but it is very, very hard to live with. And I have to admit that uh, I get I got married. I got married the 3 August to Craig, my husband, the father of my daughter. We are 10 years together. It was about time to get married. Uh, it wasn't... I'll come to this after. It wasn't... Uh, me or him who didn't want it was not nothing to do with that with that it was always exterior consequences that made that it was just not possible so we are married i'm changing my last name to have it matching with my daughter and my husband's uh, logic and i love my last name i for security reasons i'm not just not gonna say it and uh so we had a small marriage keep in mind we had like the legal marriage and then we went for a lunch with people who were important enough to be there and uh, the rest, I'm sorry, some people got really upset that they were not invited but honestly, um, the people I did not invite, their reaction you know what, I'm going to tell you something once I reacted very badly because I was not invited to a girlfriend's marriage and I reacted very very badly but compared to how that person reacted about not being invited it's uncomparable okay uncomparable so yeah basically um my in-laws from england came they looked after my daughter uh for four days while me and craig well actually it was almost five days went to greece by the way uh my, during my marriage there was some ups and downs like crazy stuff happened like crazy i'm thinking about two situations in particular i can do a q a a marriage q a if you're interested uh, by the way, since I had a kid anyway, uh, we were already engaged. Uh, he he was always going to become my husband. You know what I mean? It's like when you know, you know. In our case, it's that. When you know, you know. So guys, uh, if you want to ask us, uh, look at my screen thing. Ah, so cute. Okay, guys, so if you want uh, to do us a Q&A about our marriage, being respectful, I know for some of you it's a little bit hard, but try. Make an effort. It will help you a lot, trust me. Make an effort to be polite when you ask your questions, and uh, we can do a Q&A. If I have enough questions, I'll do a Q&A. So yeah, that's it. Now I am officially married, I spent amazing vacations, and truly I needed it after this year of bull BS. It's BS, I cannot call it, otherwise it's BS. And people cannot even imagine. Um, so after this one year of BS, I literally, for this moment when we got married, like having the family around, like everything being nice, the vacations were amazing. Uh, yeah, everything was amazing. And uh, I have to admit that since I am officially on paper married, uh, I thought nothing would change. 
but actually I feel like we are doing better than before I don't know how to explain but uh, somehow it is the case so yeah it's not just a paper but yeah if I can go into details and do you like a story time and all of this because actually it would be quite, quite a, fun, uh, a fun one so yeah, I have a lot on, of my, on my mind, a lot on my plate. That's why I am probably going to be irregular, but I'm going to do my best. Guys, I am I am working on two. I have one video that's already written. It has nothing to do with fragrances. And I have another idea that I have to film as well. Uh, it will have to do nothing with fragrances. I hope you're going to be interested. To me, they are banging ideas, but... I am someone who likes myself quite a lot, so I think that everything I do is banging, but this time, really, really banging. Also, choo -choo 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 -choo. yeah, so uh, people who follow me on Instagram would have known that I was, I got married. I got so much hate, and in my comments on uh, the picture where uh, I, I posted, now I'm married, blah, 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 I had like a shitty comment. That had 30 likes. So that made me understand, and it was the most liked comments of all the comments, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I removed, I obviously blocked everyone. What I'm thinking now is that I don't gain a penny from Instagram. I don't gain any money on Instagram. I don't work on Instagram, you know what I mean? So I'm like, and I am quite spontaneous. Generally, if I go somewhere, like, uh, I'll do a story, I'll do this and that. But uh, now I'm not interested to have a public Instagram at all. And I actually think I'm going to sell my Instagram because I have 20, almost 20k, 19, 20k, something like that. Uh, I'm going to sell my Instagram and open a new one and just add the people who has only real profiles and all of this. I'll take my time for that because sometimes it's true. I, I post dodgy stuff. I post me partying. I post me with friends. And I don't want to be like think, double thinking. Why anyway people would have access to this, you know what I mean? Here I totally have control 100% of my image, which I don't on Instagram. Because Instagram for me, it's like real life. You, you just do your thing and that's it. And I'm not paid for it. So, uh, hey, being hated and paid, okay. Being hated for free, I'll pass, okay? Not so much for me. Uh, also, guys... I often drink Red Bulls, okay? In all my videos, and all of you doctors of Instagram, you annoy me just as much as haters, okay? I just cannot with this, oh, just take the real sugar one, with the light one, you're gonna get cancer. I did the blood test. I do two blood tests a year. I know I'm extra, I'm hypochondriac. My doctor called me to say that uh, he doesn't understand why I need a doctor because I'm so healthy. I have a friend who's a doctor. I sent him my results. He said, you have the results of a healthy 17-year-old, okay? So obviously I'm doing something right. All the people that I know who drink Red Bull, drink Red Bull Light. I asked my doctor, am I allowed Red Bull? He said, with your lifestyle, honestly, you can drink up to five a day. Do I drink up to five a day? No, I drink one or two. And you know what he told me? He said, I hope you're drinking the light version. And then I asked him about aspartam, like, why do people make such a fuss about aspartam, the fake sugar, you know? He said, basically, they made a study that it can be cancerous, but literally, if you drink 10 liters of Coca-Cola a day, then you might be a tiny bit more at risk for some cancers. Otherwise, he said, it's totally fine with your lifestyle, working out all the time, you do not risk anything. Plus, my diet is immaculate. Sugar is addictive. Sugar is one of the worst things. And trust me, I much rather look like the people who I know who drink light drinks than people who drink the original sugar drinks. Sugar. Check about sugar, how cancerous it is, and come back to me. And Instagram doctors, please come down. If you were really doctors, you would be working. Let's be honest. I'm just answering to haters now, but like, yeah. Anyway, after I don't know how this channel is gonna go, uh, I really don't know how it's gonna go. Now, today, I feel okay. If I'm totally honest, while I was applying makeup, I almost cried. Thinking about the situation that I am already a year in. I almost cried. I have an appointment that is very important next week. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be super productive 
which I really hope I will be because it's a lot better when I am so or I will just uh, just rest I'm gonna see how it goes and yeah that's pretty much all I have to say oh my god I wanted to add no I cannot actually add that no <laughs> let's see we'll see we'll see you know anyway guys yeah so uh, if you want a marriage video uh, I'll do it with pleasure okay and uh, and yeah by the way if you know any programs on how to delete fake accounts from your account or should I just sell my account and do just a totally new one but then I'm still losing because I'm pretty sure that there's at least 25 percent there, there's just probably like 10 20 percent of haters and the rest are good people but um now you know before I used to just like add like thousands uh, in one go like when I had like more than 1000 demands I would just like add it and like discuss with people and all of this now I'm not that bothered if I'm honest you know what I mean so yeah it's unfortunate but look you know what I mean uh, not paid don't don't take hate that's it <laughs> that's my uh, message today it looks like okay guys so I got two perfumes from Zara from the new collection so I thought I would review them I got Zara black dart I find that uh, Zara packagings are not great um, they look okay but sometimes the sprayers leak or sometimes they break uh, I don't think that they're very durable I'm not sure of the notes of this but it does have patchouli it reminds me kind of like um, you know Gucci Rush? It reminds me of Gucci Rush and I think it's a pretty good dupe. Just more leathery and uh, softer. So yeah, I would recommend Zara uh, Black Dart. Shit. Okay. okay, then I have Zara Memorable Aura. Okay, so this is uh, kind of a mango perfume and it's a dupe for uh, Fame from uh, Paco Rabanne. That I really like. I'm really into mango perfume and, and it's gonna show uh, just after. I wanted to say something but I forgot. Hope it's gonna come back to me. Okay, I got this from Yves Rocher and I love this. Guys, this smells amazing. I was looking for this kind of mango scent. So look, it's the perfume mist with mango and coriander. If you can get this, get this. It's very nice. It doesn't smell long, but I got uh, the shower gel, the hair and cream, and the body lotion. It really smells like real mango and a little bit spicy. I adore this. This is very, very nice. Definitely recommend. If you can get this, get this. Oh, guys, yeah. So, I, I, I can explain to you about my vacations, what happened in the Q&A. But something happened quite dramatic. Anyway, uh, I was in... I love Greece, right? But I don't know why. I have a, an ease with languages, luckily. I know I have a Russian accent in English, okay? Most people, even English people have an accent in English. Americans have like 30 different accents uh, for English. So yeah, I have a Russian one. It just happens to be so. You know what I mean? Kill me now. So, uh, basically, I don't really have difficulties with languages. I can understand German, I can understand... Well, I speak fluently French. Uh, I, I can understand um, Eastern Europe languages, almost most of them. But, like, understand, you know what I mean? Um, fluently, I'm just French, uh, English, Russian. So, um, yeah, what did I want to say? One, like, even Latin languages are quite easy, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese is harder, but Greek? I don't understand a single word. To me, none of the language makes sense. It sounds very, very nice, huh? Sounds very, very nice. But to me, it's literally ununderstandable, which is rare for me. Usually, I can still pick up here things here and there. In Spain, I understand. When people talk in Spanish, I understand what they're actually saying. Although I cannot speak fluently Spanish, I do understand Spanish and Italian as well. Italian more and more because we go often there on vacation, but Greek not at all. 
like I have no clue. I cannot even pronounce the city where I was at. That had to be booked last minute, but this would be in the story time. And yeah, so just just to, tell, to ask you, do you think Greek is an easy language to understand? Because to me, not at all. Okay, uh, I got this blind buy uh, from Zara. Sun, sand desert at sunset. This is from the new collection as well, is uh, made by Benoit Lapouza. Benoit Lapouza. And it's kind of the vibe of... Yeah, it's kind of uh, the vibe of the Killian one that's in the liquor. Angel Share. But to me it's not as strong. This would be like the daytime version of the Angel Share one have no clue of the notes and I only tried it once to be honest if it's worth it I'm gonna re-talk about it you know how I am so this is more a chit chat rather than everything okay guys so you're gonna think I'm crazy but to me dreams mean things and I kept maybe because it's always on my Instagram page in uh, my suggestions but these perfumes were just calling my name they were just calling my name so I bought them okay and uh, I wanted the red one. Red is my favorite color and blue is my second favorite color, but I don't actually like this blue. If anyone give, if anyone cared, by the way. So yeah, okay. First of all, God of Fire. This is the most popular one, I think. It's kind of like a mango spicy perfume. Uh, to be honest with you, I tried it last week and I almost puked. To me, it has like... It smells nice. When you spray it, it smells nice. I don't want to spray it. It has a background of fuke. And if you feel a little bit sick, if it's too hot, I wouldn't recommend this for very hot weather. Uh, and it's from Stéphane... Stéphane Amber Luca. Yeah. And... By the way, I recommend uh, the website nose.fr, so the French website, because they removed the French tax, so I paid a lot cheaper for them than what I would here. I think it's the ginger in the back. It makes it smell a little bit of... Like... You know what it... Okay, this is... I, I still like it, okay? But I have to be in a good mood to wear it and have no nausea and haven't eaten a lot. Like, you know, be in a good mood. And I'm also gonna try it more in uh, colder weather. But guys, you know, when someone... Uh, goes on vacation, has like a cocktail with mango, ginger, like an exotic cocktail, and they get sick. This is a bit how it smells. I still like it, but to describe how I was feeling about it when I sprayed it on in the bus with like 40 degrees, that's what I was getting, okay? Then this I have. This I love it. Um, venom in... Carnat. This is like a strawberry leathery perfume. Uh, it has some caramel as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's very nice. It's very nice and it's the perfume I'm going to be wearing today. And I didn't wear it at all. I just tried it once. You know, if you like um, La Capitale from Xerjov or if you like Mula Mula from um, Byron, go for this 100%. Definitely recommend it. Very, very nice. And you do smell the strawberry. It's very nice. Love this one. And I like this DNA of Mula Mula. I'm obsessed by Mula Mula. And uh, talking about Byron. And I have a coupon code with Byron. Uh, and all my coupon codes are in my description. So this is Green Butterfly. This is kind of like a dry black chocolate powdery iris perfume and it almost smells like lingerie but chocolatey it's clean black chocolate and not too sweet iris often gives this uh, powdery vibe to perfume and uh, also I find like it dries out perfume quite a lot hey guys so I have two left Okay, I got this from Latafa. I love this bottle and it's called Eternal Oud. So, 
This is supposed to be the closest dupe you can find to uh, Grand Soir from Maison Francis Curdijan. Uh, I know that I first time I tried it, I thought it smelled like old people, if I'm totally honest, Grand Soir. Then I retried it in, at Christmas and I was like, I want it. It was sold out almost everywhere. And I, I am not the kind to, if I don't have something right now, there and then, I'm not interested anymore for a lot longer. But I got the dupe, so yeah, and it does smell like... It just smells great, like warm, gourmand and uh, quite mature, cozy. And um, this one is, is a bit more sharp than the Maison Francis Curdijan, I'm not gonna lie. But look at the bottle, it's so beautiful. I don't know why I love these kind of bottles. I know not everyone is a fan, but I can appreciate beauty everywhere, you know? And I just got this this morning, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so, this is Carner Barcelona, and this is Revoluti Revolutione Revolution. Okay, so guys, this is, uh, I smelt it on my husband this morning. This is a soft, leathery perfume. It's very, very nice. I really like it. I have to try it a bit more. And anyway, um, I'll make you a series of brands, brand by brand. But as I told you, I want to try new concepts on my channel. Always keeping fragrances, of course. Guys, uh, I am someone... Like I was thinking, what? how could I switch my channel a bit to make it a bit, little bit more interesting? Because to be honest, sometimes I do feel like I do the same things over and over and over. And uh, if it starts to bore me, obviously it's boring you, you know? But I have two ideas that I uh, will probably film when I have the courage to do, do so. But for now, guys, like I put perfume after the shower. I put perfume when I go out. I put perfume before bed. I always look to buy new perfumes. So it is a passion. If I can share it on this channel, that's amazing. But I know that there is so much to me. You know what I mean? You just scraped the first layer. There is so much. One, one team, I'll give you a hint, would be about Switzerland. And I think you might like it, okay? It would be like a vloggy style. But in a very specific area and uh, yeah let's see and uh, let's see how everything goes because what I'm hoping I'm hoping that the universe gives me enough strength to put my problems into my work and not into procrastinating you know what I mean so yeah we are gonna see what's gonna happen guys please uh, like this video if you want a Q&A about my marriage no problem I can do it with my husband just leave the questions in the description and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate. Sorry, again, I told you, I, am, I don't feel good these days. I almost cried before, like I have a lot going on and it is very stressful. If I come out as rude, I don't mean to be, okay? Apart from people who deserve it, you know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, love you, see you in my next one, bye.